Japan, BNFL's reputation was badly damaged two years ago after workers at Sellafield falsified records on a trial shipment of fuel from the MOX plant. The company says that's all in the past, but environmental groups say the future risks from MOX simply aren't worth taking. Fergus Walsh, BBC News. England's cricketers have recorded their first win in a one-day international for a year. Captain Nasser Hussain scored 73, inspiring his team to beat Zimbabwe in Harare by five wickets. It was the first of five one-day matches in the series. It's 25 and a half minutes past 10. I'll be back a little later with an update on the day's headlines. But now we join our news teams across the United Kingdom. And the main news tonight, Britain and America are setting out on an intensive round of diplomacy to cement the international coalition against terrorists. Tony Blair travels to Russia tomorrow as the military build-up intensifies. The Home Secretary says asylum and immigration laws are to be reviewed and religious hatred will become a crime. And an Indian passenger plane has been hijacked on a domestic flight from Bombay and landed in New Delhi. The Alliance Air Boeing 737 has more than 50 people on board. The plane surrounded by police and army at the Indira Gandhi International Airport. Reports say there are two hijackers on board. There'll be more on that on Newsnight starting now over on BBC Two. But from the 10 o'clock news, good night.